beautiful Mount Tambourine. And what I'm riding today is my old 1972 Yamaha TX750. Uh, she's in a lot better condition than when I first got her. When I first got her, I think she was painted, hand painted green, look like with a paintbrush. I spent a bit of, a fair amount of time and money on the old girl. I had all the the uh, top end rebuild, the carb is cleaned up and tidied up, and of course, as you can see, the lovely paint job. Uh, the pipes on the old girl they aren't original; uh, they're a stainless steel copy of, but they're not too bad at all. Uh, these old things, when they first come out, they weren't very well liked. They had a, a tendency to be a bit of a grenade, the motor. Uh, they're actually a very smooth bike to ride. They vibrate a lot less than a normal parallel twin. Uh, they've got a counterbalancer. And when uh, Yamaha first bought them out, unfortunately, uh, because of the counterbalancer, they used to throttle the oil up. And unfortunately, what used to happen is the oil wouldn't get up to the, uh, the barrels and the heads, and they had a chance, they had a tendency to have a bit, be a bit of a grenade. Uh, what happened since then, Yamaha had actually done a couple of modifications for them. They gave them a deeper sump and also an oil cooler. And with the modern oils, that solved all the problems that they ever had. But unfortunately, these bikes only had to run for about three years. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with the old girl. She rides beautifully, handles nice, and sounds very nice. Let's see what she sounds like. Is it out of gear? Fine. So they've got a lovely note, uh, 360 degree crank. Yep, very happy with it. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks again, Greg, for that story on your TX750. Um, you've got a really good bike there, Greg. Um, here we go. These are photos that I took back in uh, uh, August 2014 before Greg had bought the bike. It was up in Laidley. And I went and had a look at it for him and um, it seemed all good, except it looked like it had been sitting around outside maybe, or it was a fairly old bike. But there's that deep sump they put on. They added about a 50 mil spacer there just in the middle and dropped the sump down to stop the oil frothing. That was one of the modifications. <coughs> you can see the aluminium rims on the bike too. They're quite modern for its time. Um, there's the oil cool of the other modification they did to the bike back in about 73. They got us, they called these bikes in to get these changed, the deep sump, the oil cooler. Now that's from, that's a USA Speedo and Taco because I can tell by that white lamp light in the middle and it's in miles an hour. I think we were in kilometers by late 72. Uh, Greg does have the proper air cleaner. It did have pods on when I saw it first, up, uh, but it didn't have the proper box there with it. You can see those aluminium rims again. It's got an 18 inch, a big drum brake on the back of these. They're fairly big for their time. Um, there's that single front brake, but it does have double pistons in there and they do work very nicely. Greg has since put twins on, which make it even twice as good, but adds a bit of weight. That looks to me to be the genuine master cylinder and switch gear. It's just corroded from over the years of uh, brake fluid and what not getting on it. As you can see under the seat, there's the oil filler um, cap there. You can see in the oil dipstick above it, a little round thing above it. Uh, that's the old oil filter they put on these. It was a terrible idea. You really find hard to buy them now. And they, we do have a modification now that fits inside the engine. Um, that's uh, a bit of rust in that fuel tank, but I think Greg's got it all cleaned out now. Very short pipes on it because there's no balance um, tube across the front of the motor on this one. The guy removed it. So, and these aren't genuine pipes either, as Greg said. They, he's got Oberlean pipes on at the moment. You can see that oil 
cooler in there and the forks have got a bit of pitting on them but i'm sure they're the same ones now they clean up pretty good same here these clean up maybe greg bashed out that dent in the right hand taco uh, cover i don't know i'd have to have a look but uh, they'll clean up um here we go he's going to give it a start so we'll we'll be quiet here because yeah we're Thanks again, everybody. I hope you like this new format that I'm trying here just to get some stories on my mate's bikes. There'll be more coming, so we can only get better. Yeah, if you like it, let me know. Subscribe, please. Thank you very much. Bye for now.